moment I found out you could study game design, I was hooked. It's all about using the very latest technology, about always pushing it forward. It really became this burning passion for me to make sure that everybody knew that they could make games. And that's how I started to get together with the women behind Girl Geek Academy. We all had the shared passion of wanting to share what we love and encourage more people to do it. When it comes to the people making the games, it's only about 20% women. But we're gonna change that. Sustainability is a huge problem right now, especially when it comes to technology. We're building all these new products, these pipelines and these systems, and none of it's really gonna matter if the world's on fire. So that's why at Girl Geek Academy, we're focusing a lot on sustainability because women need to be part of this story. We're always looking at ways we can influence and inspire other women. So when it was time to buy a new car, I knew it had to be an electric. Even though I work in technology, it was still really scary thinking about converting to an electric. I was worried about charging, driving long distance, all the usual stuff. I also live in an apartment building and don't have a charger at home. But you know, I don't have a petrol station at home so I, I realised it wasn't going to be a big worry after all. So then I went and test drove the Nissan Leaf and that was it. My mind was made up. Straight away I was hooked. The cherry on top for me is the sound system. I really wanted a good one, especially as a musician. And the best thing about having an electric car is the internal sound is actually really quiet, so it makes the music experience even better. I'm a super time poor person, so never having to go to a service station is so, so valuable to me. It means I never have to think about it, or about when I'm running out of fuel, and going to a petrol station in a busy city can be a nightmare just so time consuming and an EV just takes a problem out of your life forever. If I do have to stop and charge my car, I usually just get to go get coffee or go get lunch or do my shopping, something that I normally would have done anyway, so it's fully integrated in my life. But I'm also often traveling for our She Hacks events. It's actually just redefined what a road trip means to me. There's no more stopping for petrol or snacks and having to split bills. All I have to do is just plug in when I get to my destination and the next morning I'm, I'm good to go. I think the most I've paid in total this year is $7 for charging my car, which considering how many kilometres I've driven <laughs> seems ridiculous, but yes, it's been really great. <laughs> the way of the future is electric vehicles for sure. It's something that I morally, ethically, and also just from a great car and great drive perspective, it makes so much sense to me and I, I don't think I'll ever be going back to petrol. create things. I work with great people. And because I'm working with the latest technology and building tomorrow's games, it's like I can see into the future.